One of the most effective uses of atmosphere in horror games is the feeling of isolation, and the feeling of isolation is definitely felt while exploring underwater depths in the game Narcosis. But does this one end up being a great experience while you get scared under the sea, or should we just let this one drown? Narcosis is a first-person narrative exploration game, aka a walking simulator, and immediately people are going to think of Soma when they see this game, since that was an effective use of underwater first-person exploration. Narcosis has some decent moments, but isn't anywhere near as good as Soma. Narcosis has more of a sense of urgency than some other walking sim games. The fact that you have oxygen that's consistently running out and you have to make sure you have some is something that will ramp up the intensity and some of the scarier moments, but for the most part there's so much oxygen as long as you're able to look around a bit, you really don't get low on it that often, and if you end up dying or running out of oxygen, you're just set back to a previous checkpoint with all your oxygen fully restored. The game has a few enemies and a few moments that you'll have to do some stealth to get around them, but the biggest enemy in the game is really the controls. They're clunky to say the least. Exploring underwater should be a fun experience, but unfortunately, exploring in this game just leads to more headaches, especially later on when platforming is more involved. Most of this is because of the boost controls that you have. It's cool to be able to kind of boost through and go a little bit quicker in the game, but using it to platform from falling platforms is just annoying. The game has a lot of atmosphere though. For those who get scared by horror games, you'll probably have plenty of moments that you will have your skin crawling. As someone who's played a ton of horror games, I didn't really find it overly creepy, just a few neat set pieces and moments throughout the game that made it worth seeing through to the end. Even though I thought the game started off slow, it ended with a bang. From the technical side of things though, I'm happy to report no major bugs or other glitches. Narcos is available now on the PS4, Xbox One, and PC for $19.99. It unfortunately though does not have a Platinum on the PS4. Overall, when it comes to Narcosis, the narrative and few moments that stood out made it worth seeing through to the end, but if you're someone looking for just one underwater horror experience, Soma's going to be the overall better game between the two, though Narcosis is still decent enough. With that said, I'm going to be giving Narcosis a 6 out of 10. That's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoy.